How's it going guys, Mike here. So today's video is a short guide on how to install an air horn. This was a request uh, from one of my subscribers. I'm just gonna try to go backwards on the installation I did because I installed my horn over a year ago. It's been rained on, dirt, all that stuff and it's still working perfectly fine. I'm also gonna uh, include a link below uh, of some resources you can use to, for more uh, specific step-by-step -step guide. What you're going to need, you're gonna buy one, your horn, and then you need a, an extra set of wires. You can get this, honestly, at uh, most hardware stores or electrical stores. And this right here, this is a clamp, but whenever you connect two wires together, you can use this to close them off. And you need ties. After you've ran the wire through, you know, the battery to through your bike, you want to tie it. You know, you want to tie it to the bike so it's not just uh, flabbing and, and going all around the place. I always recommend to just go buy you a, a set of toolbox like this um, instead of having to look for a tool every time. The first thing you want to do uh, after you've gotten all your materials together is you want to get to your battery. Again, mine is under the seat, and you want to disconnect the wire from the, your battery. You use your same ignition key. Uh, there's a key slot here, and when you turn it, it unlocks the hook to the seat here. And once that is unlocked, you're able to take the seat off, and then you have access to the battery. This is my battery here, and you can see positive and negative side. It will show it also on the battery, positive, negative. Your horn also comes with a, a fuse box like this and again I'm not gonna go into the technical details but this should be fairly easy to figure out I'll also leave the link where that could help you to figure out which uh, plug goes into where and this directly from this right through this right here is what would connect the horn wires to your battery and you basically just connect uh, the positive to positive and the negative to negative but again before you do this make sure your bike is off uh, disconnect uh, at least disconnect the negative side first uh, before you uh, install it with the horn and what what I would suggest to do is plug in like figure out this part first as to putting the wires in first before you even connect to the to the horn this fuse box right connects to the battery and you cannot see it but this this wire here is is what runs and connects to the green wire I showed you earlier once I made the connection up here I ran the rest of the wire I brought it through this hidden spot here and just ran it all the way to the bottom of the bike and again the reason why you do this is because you don't want to have just your wires exposed you know you want to have them uh, nice and neat and it, as you can see here's the frame of the bike make sure you don't connect it to the to the exhaust because uh, this would get hot when, when the bike is running just connect it to the or I mean tie it down to the frame of the bike here which is what I did and as you can see then that runs all the way through again I, I made another tie here so I have one two and once I get here then I connect it to the horn Different people will have different places where they want to mount the uh, the horn. Depending on the bike or motorcycle that you have, you might have room. Maybe back here if you want to. I I had mine originally installed here, but I didn't like the look of it. Um, uh, but for most people, I think the best bet is just to have it where you have your whole uh, your old horn. Okay, so once you've made the connection here, right? Then you want to uninstall your old horn, remove it, and keep uh, the pieces uh, and the bolts and stuff for your old horn. And make the uh, connection to your new horn. Again, see that green wire is what connects to this two piece here. And all you do is just, it's a plug-in. Just plug one positive, negative in. And that's it. Make sure your new horn is mounted correctly. And to test it, just tie everything back down to the battery uh, don't close the battery yet um, and then you turn the switch on on your bike and just hit the horn button and see if it works if it works that's good and then just 
undo everything you did with the battery as you can see my battery comes with this cover and I'm gonna put all that back in but that's pretty much it uh, and if I didn't go into specific details if you have any question on what you need to do just leave a comment or you know PM me uh, inbox me and I'll, I'll try my best to answer it. but I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give a thumbs up and definitely subscribe if you haven't yet um, I'll catch you guys in the next video peace